hello you guys what is up so for today's video i thought that i would do a sit down video because i have not done a sit down video in so 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 long where i just sit down and talk to you guys that's something that's not incorporated into a vlog so i've been getting a lot of questions about manifestation how i manifested how i manifest and i just wanted to kind of explain to you guys like how i manifested my dream life how i'm literally living my dream life and how i did it so before we get started i wanted to give a big thank you to later for sponsoring this video later is a all-in-one social media planning analyzing and publishing tool that helps you grow your business or you can even use it for your personal account pretty much they have like all the top social media platforms on there and you can plan your content out on there and also like schedule things to post like for instagram tiktok pinterest or whatever social media platforms you guys use so if you guys are trying to grow a business like on social media or you're even trying to just grow your own personal um, social media accounts it's such a great tool to use because it will keep you on track you can plan all of your content ahead of time and also you can even like you know on instagram how you want your feed to look really aesthetic you can plan it all out on there as well later is known as the go-to source for social media marketing and education through their popular blog newsletter and online courses through later's blog they support business owners creators business coaches social media experts and content creators by being a go-to resource for the top social media marketing trends how to guys and educational content so go check out later's blog because there's so much information that you can learn from on there you can also access this through an app and then you can also sync it to like your computer and everything and even if you want multiple people to like edit and stuff you can add multiple people to it so if you're doing this for business and also ever since i started using them everything has just been so seamless because it i can literally plan out everything my instagram feed i'm gonna make it look so aesthetic and it just makes me kind of have a peace of mind because i just know that all the top social media platforms i could just schedule and do everything on later which makes it amazing because it's all in one place so yeah make sure to go check out later also check out their blog and yeah everything will be linked down below okay so now let's get into the video so ever since i discovered manifesting i really didn't know how to do it and it's honestly something that you will need to master because it's not just like verbally saying something it's actually believing it and thinking it and living living it you have to live your manifestations so it's not as easy as it sounds but the first thing that i personally did was i just kind of sat down with myself and i was like okay what am i trying to manifest here because when you manifest something if you try to do too many things at once it's not going to work as well because you're kind of putting your energy in all these different little baskets whereas what i personally did was i focused all my energy on one basket so it was putting all my energy into one thing and then that's why i think it escalated the process a lot so the first thing that i did to manifest my dream life was i sat down with myself and i was like you know what like what do I want for myself? What it, does my dream life look like? What, how am I gonna feel when I live my dream life? And what is that gonna look like financially, emotionally, physically? Like what is that gonna entail? When you're trying to manifest something, focus on that one thing rather than trying to manifest 10 different things at once because that's just making it harder for yourself and I feel like that's more of an elongated process rather than just focusing and honing in on one thing. After kind of figuring out what my dream life looks like and what I wanted for myself, I knew in my heart that it was going to happen. Like I knew it, there was no doubt in my mind or my heart that this was going to be my reality. I didn't know when, I didn't know how it was going to unfold, but I just knew that I was going to make enough money to be financially stable on my own. I was going to be doing what I love every single day, doing my dream job, which is this. And I just knew that no matter what way I was gonna get there, I was gonna get there. And it's also really important not to be so focused, hyper-focused on like how you're gonna get to that exact spot. You don't know how the universe is gonna bring you there. You can go through 10 different doors. You never really know, like it might not be a straight path. And you have to realize that and kind of just be accepting that anything can happen, but just know that you're gonna end up at your end goal regardless of how it's gonna happen you know so that was one thing that i kind of did is i let go of the expectation that it was just gonna happen in a straight line so i was just like you know what i know that by the end of this year i'm gonna be financially stable enough to move out i'm gonna be doing what i love every day i'm gonna be truly like living my dream life i just knew it that that's what was going to unfold i had no idea how but i just knew it also not putting like a specific time limit on something is very important for me personally, I just thought that like, okay, by the end of the year, 
um, sometime within the new year, like it could be a couple months in, it could be like half of the year into the new year. Like I wasn't really hyper focusing or thinking consistently about the time. Yeah, that was my goal, but I also wasn't putting so much pressure on it. I was just kind of like, you know what? If it happens by the end of the year, which is my goal, amazing. And if it doesn't, then that's not meant for me. Like I'm, it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen and whenever it's going to align, it's going to align. So I kind of let go as well of like the time frame. It is though important to still have a time frame, like still give yourself like a very broad estimate of when you want this to all unfold, but don't be so hyper focused on it that you're stressing yourself out if it's not happening in time, you know? You really have to just let it go. So after I like knew what I wanted um, for my dream life and everything, I knew I wanted to be moved out and be financially free. I also stayed very, very grateful for the place that I was in at the moment and grateful for everything around me while still having that mindset of manifestation. Finding that balance can be a bit tricky and it took me a while to kind of find that perfect middle mindset of where I was grateful for where I was at at the present moment, but also manifesting greater things for myself. I can't really tell you how to do that because that's something you kind of have to figure out your own and everybody's different, so it's gonna be different for everybody. But finding that like mindset that combines the two is very important. So the next thing that I did was I kind of dropped everything that was not in alignment for me. If I was doing something that wasn't making me happy, um, I dropped it. When I was working at the restaurant, it, that wasn't something that aligned with what I wanted to be doing in the future. It wasn't making me happy. When I got laid off because of COVID, I never went back. And I could have gone back because at the time I wasn't really making that much money by myself. But I kind of told myself that like, if I go back, I'm kind of trapping myself in that same cycle where I'm doing things that are not aligning with what I want for my future. And what I'm trying to manifest is taking my energy away. So I was like, you know what, even though I'm going to be making less money, I have to cut that out because that is not, that's like mess, messing with my mentality. And so yeah, just cutting out things that are of unalignment with you is so important and really just sit down and analyze like what you do every single day in your life and why you do it it's so important to ask yourself why you do specific things and if they're benefiting you and if they're in alignment with you with your true purpose and what makes you happy i use my emotional guidance system so your emotional guidance system is basically just following your emotions and that's how you're going to tell if it's in alignment with you so if something makes you happy and you really like it then obviously that's going to lead you to your purpose or your passion or whatever but if something is making you miserable and sad and you don't like it then obviously that's something that you got to drop because that's not in alignment with you and that's your emotional guidance system telling you that like look this is not for you and i know that like not everybody's in the position that they can just oh quit their job if they want to do something else um, obviously because you have bills to pay and everything, but if you're not in the position where you can just quit that job or quit that thing that's not aligning with you, try and focus the least amount of energy you can on it. I know it's hard, but just try your best to have a positive mindset still and just kind of don't focus too much of your energy on it and focus like more, way more, or all of your energy on what you truly wanna be doing and what you're working towards. I know it's hard, but that's also one way of doing it if you can't fully quit. I was really lucky because I was in that position where I was able to still live with my parents at that time so it was okay if I wasn't making that much of an income because all I had to pay for was my personal things and my car so it wasn't that big of a deal. So I was really lucky but I know everyone isn't so that's um, just one way of doing it as well if you can. Another thing is everybody always says like have a plan B and for me personally like I just don't see the reasoning of having a plan B if you believe in your heart and know that what you're manifesting and what you're doing is going to work out. The last thing I want to do is have a plan B in that scenario because that's just putting in my mind that like, oh, if I fail, if I, like, that's doubting myself and that's pretty much telling myself that like, look, if this doesn't work out, then you're, then you're going to go to plan B. But that wasn't even an option. Like, I was like, no, this is working out. I know in my heart that this is what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So don't prepare yourself with a plan B. I'm not saying like be stupid about it. But it's so important to not really have that plan B because having a plan B kind of puts doubt in your mind and it makes you think that like, oh, this might fail. You know, when going into manifesting something and manifesting your dream life, 
don't have, you can't have that mindset where, oh, I need a plan because I might fail because that just puts you in a whole other headspace. And that just means that you don't truly believe that this is going to work out for you. Another really important thing that I did was not comparing my journey and my goals to anybody else's on social media, in real life. I just think that this is so important because everybody has their own journey and you have to realize this. If you're looking up to someone right now and you're jealous of them because they're where you want to be, you don't need to feel jealous. Like you have the power within yourself and the universe holds space for everybody. Everybody can live their dream lives. The universe holds space for you and you have an infinite amount of space for yourself. So you being jealous of somebody and you envying them because they're living the dream life that you want is not going to do anything for you and comparing yourself to them is not going to do anything for you except lower your vibration and really just um, put you in a bad mood really and make you sad. That's not, it's not going to do anything positive for you. So just realize that you're on your own journey, okay? You can't compare someone else's journey to yours because you're two different human beings, you're two different people and what's meant for you isn't meant for them and vice versa. You are on your own unique path and you're at the place where you are right now for a reason and everything in your life is happening for a reason. And you gotta realize that just because somebody else is where you wanna be right now, doesn't mean that you can't get there as well or just as fast. And me realizing that just like really put everything into, into perspective for me. Like, wow, I really am on my own journey and this was supposed to happen now for me. You know what I mean? Everything happens within divine timing and you just gotta step into your own power. The next thing that helped me manifest my dream life was I did not give a single shit about anybody else's judgments, opinions, beliefs about me, nothing. I completely cut out everybody's opinions, judgments. I just cut everything out. I think I have a video actually that I posted a while ago on how not to give a shit about other people's opinions of you. I think I made a whole video on it. So I will link it down below and I'll try to put like a card up here. So I'd really suggest watching that if you have a hard time letting it go. But I swear to you, once I did that, it really helped me stay true to who I was regardless of anybody else's opinions of me and that's when I really just started making decisions for myself. If I listened to other people's opinions and if I basically lived my life based on them, then I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I really want to emphasize this because that's one of the things that helped me get to where I am now or actually made me get to where I am now is letting go of all that because at the end of the day, it does not matter. So another thing that helped me manifest was just taking all the opportunities that came my way that felt right. So if there's a new opportunity, if you're trying to manifest something and there's a new opportunity that comes into your life, I think that that's the way of the unif at the universe like giving you a path to go down, if that makes sense. Like it's giving you an opportunity to lead you to your manifestation. So every single opportunity that would come my way, I would take it and try it and if it felt right, then I would do it. Like for example, background acting. I just really felt a pull to start doing background acting. And so I signed up for an agency and I got in and was it a little scary? Did I almost back out because I was scared of this new opportunity? Yes, but I was like, hold on, like this is all happening for a reason. The universe is guiding me in this direction for a reason. I'm trying to manifest my dream life here. So if this is coming into my life right now, I have to try and I have to say yes to it because you never know what doors this can lead to. And by doing this, it was another source of income that really helped me make this move. Take all the opportunities that come your way because they're presenting themselves into your life for a reason. And it may be scary to take new opportunities and go out of your comfort zone, but it is completely necessary to do it. Another thing that helped me manifest was listening to the universe along the way. So I would always see like little signs here and there. If I was talking about something really spiritual with Joel or whoever, I would like get a really clear signal that Michaela, you're right. This is like what you were just talking about. You're completely right. Like you're on the right path and whatever. And I would always get reassurance. I would always, like I still to this day, like always see angel numbers around me, like 222, 444, like whatever it is. Um, I always see freaking angel numbers and they're always there to reassure me that, you know what, like this is the right path, you're doing great. It's just kind of really nice to have that reassurance around. And once you start experiencing these signs, like if I told you a story on, oh, I saw this number 444, 222, you might be like, yeah, okay, that might be a coincidence. But once you experience it yourself, it's something surreal that you can't really explain to someone who's never experienced it before. So just keep your eye out um, for these signs because they are going to guide you. So this is one of the biggest things that helped me manifest was I like developed the mindset and the actions and the attitude of 
me living my dream life. So when I would wake up in the morning, I would wake up and I'd be like, oh, I just get to make YouTube videos and I make a whole bunch of money doing this. Like it's, I'm financially free. I can do whatever I want. I make my own schedule. You can't always just speak your manifestations or write them down. You also have to live them as well. So having that mindset as if things that you already manifested were already in place, you have to develop that mindset. Let's say you want to manifest $100, okay? This is the big thing you want to manifest is $100. So ask yourself, how would I feel if I had that $100 with me right now? How would that make me feel? Would that make me feel sad? Would that make me feel happy? Obviously, it's going to make you feel happy if that's what you want it to manifest. So take on that feeling of how you would feel when you had that $100 and live your life as if you already have that $100. Like you have to have the emotions because the universe is going to align your how you're feeling like your emotions with what is physically in your life and that's how manifestation happens so don't say like oh I'm only gonna be happy when I get the hundred dollars like that's that's what's gonna make me happy because they're never gonna manifest shit because that's not how the universe works you have to feel the emotions as if you already have it for the universe to present you with it and to align yourself with it. So yeah, so me waking up, I would wake up and just pretend like I was waking up in my own space. Now it's a reality and it almost feels like it was always like this. Do you know what I mean? Because I already kind of took on those emotions and um, those feelings of having my own place and everything. So now that it's actually reality, it doesn't even feel that different as it did because I already took those on, those emotions on and the, that feeling on. I wasn't waiting like, oh, I'm only gonna be happy if I get my own apartment. Like, no, I was already happy before that. And that's why it happened so fast because I was already in alignment with it. Because you're gonna be at that vibrational state as if you already have it. Therefore, the universe is like, it's gonna match that and it's gonna give you it. And so yeah, one thing I just really wanted to put an emphasis on is that when this happened, it felt normal. Obviously it's still a change in everything, but it felt so normal, like this feels so normal to me. It wasn't really that big of an adjustment to be honest, because I feel like I've already took on the, like I do, just literally was just saying, took on the emotions and everything as if it was already happening. So now that it's happened, it's like, okay, like moving on to the next thing, like, you know what I mean? So it's kind of crazy how it works because this huge thing that you're manifesting, this huge thing, you might think it's so huge before you get it, but once you like hone into that taking on the mindset of it and everything, and then once you actually get it, it's gonna feel completely normal and you're gonna be like, oh my God, like a year ago today, I was just thinking that this is this huge thing and now I'm here and it doesn't even feel like I worked that hard for it because it's you manifested it for yourself like it just kind of happened like magic like literal magic yeah so that's how i manifested this apartment and this dream life i know it may sound crazy and if you guys don't believe in manifestation then i mean everyone is entitled to their own beliefs and everything obviously and this is just how i think that i did it and how i know in my heart that this all happened was listening to my intuition and um, staying true to who i am there's this really good quote follow your passion and it'll lead you to your purpose and i love that so much and you know what, at the end of the day, life is a roller coaster. That sounds really cheesy, but it is, and you don't know how you're gonna get to the end point, what your purpose is gonna be. Even now, like I'm still trying to figure out my purpose. I'm just following my passion and taking it day by day, and you never know. Like I'm always open to new opportunities. I don't ever put like a block on anything. I'm just always being thankful for where I'm at right now. It's always so important to stay grounded no matter how much you manifest, and yeah. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments or you can even DM me on Instagram. Let me know anything in the comments, anything cool you guys have manifested and your experience with manifestation. Share your stories down below and we can kind of make it like a little cute chat room down below because I'll be in the comment section. Also, if you guys go on Netflix and watch the documentary, The Secret, I really recommend that because that's what first got me into manifesting and learning about the law of attraction and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know any other videos you guys want to see, but I just thought that I'd sit down and give you guys this video because I've gotten a lot of comments about it recently and I just wanted to share my experience. So, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.